Hi, my name is Walker. This is a demo of the Make Noise Multimode Gate. This module is a descendant of the legendary Quad Multimode Gate. The MMG is a resonant low pass and high pass morphing filter with a smooth overdrive circuit and incorporated backdrolls for low pass gate functionality. You'll notice that although it's called the Multimode Gate, there's no mode switch. This is a good thing, you're not limited to using a single mode at any given time. In fact, with clever voltage control, you can swap between modes easily and even use all modes at the same time, making this filter incredibly playable and versatile. The ACN is the audio input, and there's a smooth overdrive circuit that ensures hot signals will soft clip for a nice subtle saturation. For demonstration purposes, I'm using a sine wave, although usually you would want to use something with more harmonic content in a filter. The DCN is summed with the ACN. It can accept low frequency signals for non-linear soft clipping of the AC signal. An audio signal in both inputs allows for simple mixing. The frequency knob sweeps from sub audio up to high frequency. Mode knob morphs from low pass to high pass. LED turns on in high pass mode. With nothing in the mode CV input, the cutoff frequency is normal to it. So with the mode set to low pass, if you turn the mode CV all the way clockwise, it will be low pass at the bottom and morph into high pass at the top. Mode CV is bipolar, so in high pass mode, and with the mode CV all the way counterclockwise, you get low pass at the top and high pass at the bottom. If you plug an external CV into the jack, the normalization is broken and the mode control becomes totally independent of the cutoff frequency. The strike input works like the similar inputs on the Optimix and DPO. Send it a trigger or gate and it opens and closes the filter quickly. The backdoor response means it shuts more slowly than it opens acting like a low pass gate. Pump up the resonance a bit for more pronounced sound. There are two frequency inputs, one at unity and the other with a bipolar input attenuator. Here's a simple random voltage. Since there's nothing in the mode CV, I can use it to control that too. The accent input is similar to the strike input, but it pings the resonance as well as the frequency. The base value of the resonance still has an effect. 
Q input is CV in for the resonance amount. And it does self oscillate. Here's a basic patch showcasing the character of the MMG. VCO is sequenced by Rene, filter is in low pass mode, and Rene's gate outputs are pinging the strike and accent ends on the MMG. Cutoff is modulated by the Wogglebug's smooth CV out and the resonance by a slow envelope. After a couple iterations, I'll let the frequency control the mode as well. Here's a simple patch showcasing the strike ends for LPG emulation. I have the classic complex waveform entering the AC input, while the Rene gates ping the strike and accent inputs. You can hear that the decay is faster than most LPGs, but having resonance on the circuit gives it a little more versatility. Adding a stepped random CV to the frequency input will give it a little evolving character but without losing the basic rhythmic identity. The MMG is a great tool for TB303 style acid bass lines, especially in conjunction with the Rene. This combination allows for per step accents and portamento. This patch is very simple, basically utilizing only a square wave, a Rene sequence, and the MMG. In the next video, we'll go more in-depth on the DC input, along with CV control of filter mode and resonance. We'll also get into some more complicated territory using all modes of the MMG in a single patch. Until then, be sure to visit makenoisemusic.com for more information about the MMG and other Make Noise products. Thanks for watching.